time in Italy, where I've learned how they get so many flavours into coffee capsules. But what happens to the plastic pods afterwards? At the moment, most aren't recycled. So we're drinking all this coffee, but every year we send 300 million coffee pods to landfill. So these things can't be good for the environment. Our planet is drowning in plastic. Some studies suggest we've created as much of it in the last 13 years than in the whole of the last half century. A big problem is the way the petroleum in plastic is produced. It takes hundreds of years to degrade. But there's some good news on the coffee pod front. I've come to a science lab in Novara, 30 miles west of Milan. Hi there, I'm Jim. Hi, Maurizio. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, I'm here to find out more about your capsules. Yeah. Can I see them? Yeah. Okay. Maurizio Tucin's factory has come up with a clever way to make biodegradable coffee pods. So, where does it all start? We start from the vegetable oil. Wow. So, the, the very beginning yeah. is vegetable oil. Yeah. So, the same, the same thing that I use in my kitchen to cook yeah, with. the same. It's the same. Wow. Yeah. So, how would you turn something as simple as vegetable oil into a plastic? Yeah, we start with two different chemical reactions. From the vegetable oil, uh, first reaction with the hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like bleach you put in yeah, your hair? It's the same, yeah, yeah. Wow, so <laughs> it's amazing. So you start with vegetable oil and, and hair that, dye? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what makes it biodegradable? Is it because it's just made of vegetable oil? The biodegradability of the, of, of the material, it depends on the chemical structure of the material. So it's not just because it's from vegetable oil, it's biodegradable. It's the process, because uh, you change the actual structure of the molecules. Yeah. And that's the key that allows it to break down. Yeah. And the result, a white powder that forms the basis of Maurizio's plastic. Look at that. Wow. Chemistry lesson done, now on to biology. Wow, now this looks like some sort of gadget. What are you doing with this? This is a fermentation machine. So this is another step in the process? Another step. In this case, we start with uh, liquid sugar. What are you going to do with that? The liquid sugar in this fermentation machine with microorganisms start the fermentation and we obtain a liquid and after distillation, the liquid became this. This is very different to the conventional way plastics produced. It's usually derived from propylene, a chemical component of petroleum. Okay. Yeah. See, when I think of sugar, fermentation, distillation, I think of vodka. Is it? <laughs> Have you made vodka? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like vodka. <laughs> but this is, this is Bhutan Dayo. That is weird science. Sadly, you can't drink butane dial. It's used to make things like spandex. So this machine brings all those elements together. So you've got that powder that you've created from the oil. oil. You've got the liquid you've created from the sugar. The sugar. Yeah. They come together now to form plastic. How, yeah. how does that happen? In this machine, it's a magical machine. Yeah, uh, yeah it's magic. It's this machine that's at the heart of the caffeine capsule revolution. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. So you make spaghetti? Yeah, spaghetti is, <laughs> is the name spaghetti. It's Italian. It's Italian. Italian. So not only are you saving the world and reducing the plastic, yeah. you're making plastic spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's so typical. The plastic spaghetti is cooled and chopped into pellets, a bit like risotto. Wow. So tell me, what, what happens in this machine? In this machine, the pellets go in the machine. Yeah. So the, the pellets go in. They're heated, melted, and then you mould it. Yeah. So look at that. So this is the future of coffee capsules, but not only coffee capsules, of plastic packaging, carrier bags, everything. So how long do these capsules take to disappear? After 45, 50 days, it's completely disappeared in the compost. So 45, 50 days, this is composted to nothing. Tell you what, you Italians are clever, aren't you? <laughs>